Hello everyone, and today we have for you player GTX 1070, and let's open it up. Okay. Oh, beautiful. We have a letter over here, and let's start from our letter. Thank you for taking a look at this uh, GTX 1070 Founders GPU. The current original problem was no video output. The fan ran and also the LED on top. I did not feel any heat from the card. After a beat, the card stopped working mm, completely and the card did feel warm, almost hot. But I think uh, that was because the fan and LED stopped. Please let me know what you think. I enjoy your videos and how you troubleshoot the card. <laughs> he definitely meant cards. I'm not that good in car repairs. Please contact me by email or phone. Uh, thank you again, Tony Marcello. And all of what we always do over here, we confirm a problem. But look at that. That's actually the most beautiful reference card what I've seen so long so far. Look at those uh, triangle shapes. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling like I want to really fix it. So yeah, um, let's... Uh, Confirm our problem. It has a very comfortable eight pins, uh, and uh, our HDMI port. So long, so far. Let's just double check, make sure. Yeah, everything plugged in. Let's turn it on. Our postcodes. How we can see it doesn't bypass our bias passcode and uh, nothing on the screen and fan is not spinning. Uh, before we jump measuring all our powers, let's talk a little bit what are the common issues on those graphic cards. Uh, the first uh, pretty common issue is uh, with our 12 volt phase. Now we can see we have our uh, coils in a parallel. And what it looks for me, those coils, they can't really handle that much uh, current and uh, they just burn out and create a short. And create a short. Uh, another uh, uh, common issue on those graphic cards is with our memory phase. Uh, somewhere in uh, uh, this area or behind a motherboard, it creates a blast. And uh, yeah, after all, it creates a short. And we are dealing either with the trace connection between inside of a motherboard either it all depends how you get like it sometimes it takes a chip out sometimes it takes a memory out sometimes it takes both of them uh, I don't think that's something in our case because uh, I don't see any burns or physical damage uh, let's just be skeptical about those uh, two phases in our measurings and uh, yeah let's start our oh wait a minute Okay, here we go. And let's start from our main powers and the closest one we have our minus and the closest one we have our 5 volts. 3.3 volts we have one of our 12 volt phases we have Another 12 volt phase we have, and uh, here we have 0 0.2 volts. In any case, this uh, uh, power doesn't work for us. Uh, we will be back to that phase. Let's just keep measuring. Mm -hmm. no, on our chip, we have zero. On our memory, mm, we have zero. On our PCI Express, we have zero. Let's go to our resistance mode and uh, I haven't had that much uh, 1070s for repair but uh, what I'm thinking is uh, uh, this phase is our 1.8 volt uh, phase and we should have a kilo ohms over here and we have our and we have and we have a short because in our tools we have uh, also around an ohm or half ohm. So we have a short on the face and that's pretty uh, pitiful because those 1.8 volts they go straight to a chip. 
Mm -hmm. uh, let's just uh, go other main uh, phases on our chip. Well, we won't be able to tell uh, from uh, resistance on a chip or is it good or bad because those chips they're really powerful and it's literally uh, like uh, so ohmless if I can say it this way so we won't be able even this uh, uh, might be a good resistance for those chips let's go to our memory and we have about 30 ohms um, how I said I haven't had that much uh, 1070s in this build uh, for repair but if my memory isn't lying me for those 1070s uh, uh, should be about uh, 100 uh, ohms uh, so that also looks really 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 suspicious for me in my room right now it's pretty cold so I can definitely feel any changes motherboard is pretty cold but chip is warming up yeah now I feel it now I definitely feel it <sighs> Unfortunately, in our case, and now I can definitely say that uh, chip needs to be replaced and uh, the problem on this graphic card is a chip. Uh, I have to talk to a customer first because, uh, uh, and see what he wants to do because uh, those uh, chips, uh, they're not that really cheap. Yes, I already took a chip out and let's test it out our face. On this phase our resistance should definitely go up and we should have around a kilo ohm and we have a 930 ohms what can make us happy. <sighs> Unfortunately we don't really have that much happiness over here because uh, when we check our powers, uh, when I started checking powers is uh, yes we have 0 0.8 volts, we have 1 uh, volt on our uh, PCI on our PLL we have 1.8 and that's a good thing that we started having this power but then on the memory we have a zero and uh, uh, that's not a good sign because uh, yes I've seen cards after pulling a chip uh, memory power uh, doesn't go up but uh, at least we should have an impulse here is just zero nothing no impulses or no low voltage or um, nothing and uh, uh, that's making me uh, uh, even more thinking than those 30 ohms what we have here definitely not I'll try figure out what the correct uh, uh, resistance on this phase but how I said should be about a hundred ohms uh, but I'll try figure it out um, then uh, I, how you can see here is no key uh, this chip contains not just one key, it contains a top and a lower shoulder. I was thinking, I was hoping that lower shoulder creates uh, this lower resistance because there is no gate uh, for this chip, uh, that's a 3960. And uh, after removing the chip, we are still... We are still having 30 ohms on this face. Well, today I got a new box with a graphic card for diagnostic and uh, I decided to open it together. Uh, I'll show you the reason why in a second. Uh, this card came to me from Iraq. <clears throat> so that was a pretty long road. And when I opened it, I had a feeling like I don't want to leave. Because uh, uh, it came to me exactly like you see right now. I knew is gonna come disassembled but this is really heavy thing this is like uh, yes still aluminium not a copper but this is uh, pretty heavy and between our graphic card and uh, hip thing napkin I understand better something than nothing but Okay, let's have a look on our graphic card because most important is to see our crystal if it got damaged or something. Um, okay. I actually already see a scuff on a crystal. I don't know if it's gonna be seen on the camera, but let me see. Let me just redo a 
focus. But I can definitely see right on this corner there is a like you see it's straight over here but it's not straight on this corner. I can already see the crystal is kinda cracked. And there is a pretty good scratch on it as well. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's keep looking. What else we have? Here. Oh I Oh, that's capacitor. You see? That's a capacitor. That's capacitors laying around in a box. So that's a good example how to not do not send a graphic card <coughs> for diagnostic or repair. Now let me see on the back of it. Oh yeah, definitely. Here is a missing caps. Everything got damaged. That's this uh, 1070 Ti. And how we can see it has same exact build as our previous card. Uh, the only difference is it has additional more two phases for a GPU. Uh, but other than that everything looks fine. I already had a look at it. I already put all our broken capacitors and uh, had a look on this card. And what I diagnose is they're also cheap is out. And the reason why I think so I'll show you. How we can see, uh, we have our memory 1.5, we have our um, PCI 1 volt, we have our 1.0 LPLL, and we have our chip 0.8 volt. So all main powers are present, but we are still not bypassing to our BIOS postcode. And I already reinstalled our um, uh, BIOS flash, um, and didn't help either. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, everything what it looks, uh, chip is out, plus, how I said, there is a, not a huge chunk of crystal missing, but still, uh, here is a definitely crack on this corner. Um, I'm gonna contact customer and see what the story about this graphic card, but I don't think it will help. Um, but talking about our 1070, um, let's check what resistance we should have Tada! it's suppose here we have 70 around yeah around 70 80 ohms we should have on this base now uh, now we can definitely say that on our uh, 1070 not just a chip went out but a memory also this video is going to be uh, more for diagnostic uh, but second part is gonna be more for repair. I'm waiting for a chip. Once I receive a chip, I'm gonna replace any memory and a chip.